Hey, this is Chuck with BMW Blog, and we're testing a Clipper Creek dual charger. So basically, it has the ability to charge two cars at once off a 40 amp circuit. So it's an HSC 40 dual charger. Let me show you how it's working. All right, and to charge a Tesla with one of these, you have to use the included adapter that Tesla gives you so that you can use a J1772 plug. You just connect it, and you're good to go. Charger and oh. There we go. Let's go in here and see what this comes up to. Right off the bat, it's reading 32 amps, which is two amps more than my old one on the exact same circuit. So that's pretty cool. So let's see how many kilowatts it pops up to. And this is charging at eight kilowatts uh, versus my other one at 30 amps was charging at seven kilowatts. So that's pretty cool. So this Clipper Creek model comes with two chargers attached to it. This one's currently charging at um, 32 amps. So let's go over and see what happens when I plug this X3 plug-in hybrid. So far so good there. It can't only charge at 16 amps. Now let's see what happens to the charging speed when we plug in two EVs at the same time. So when you look at the Clipper Creek on the front, it'll tell you that both sides are powered, both sides are charging. So right now it's powered, got power to two cars and it's charging two cars. So I suspect that this one dropped uh, down to 16 amps and sure enough um, it did, which is uh, 16 and 16 is 32. So it's a maximum 32 amp charger so now it's splitting the charge exactly in half as you would guess now a pro tip um, when you go to take it out click the button here then grab from the tip and pull out like that otherwise sometimes if you do this you might the model s is sometimes this will get stuck in the car and then you'll have this in one hand and then this will be stuck in the car now the way we've been using dual chargers is when we get home at night, uh, we plug both of them in and we have the i3 charged right away. Uh, and then I have the Tesla programmed to start charging early in the morning. And then if the weather's gonna be bad, then we have them preconditioned. So they'll use the electrical supply from the house to heat the car rather than um, the energy out of the battery so you can end up going farther during the day. Now the Clipper Creek charger does not really have any smart functions in it in terms of uh, delaying charging, but you know, modern cars all have the ability to delay whenever they charge. And that's what we do is we have the Tesla charge in the morning. Preconditioning right now, it's about 28 degrees outside and snowing. And uh, each one of us is preconditioning and the dual charger is really having some nice benefits I wasn't even considering. Though the Clipper Creek comes with some optional um, charging cable holders, I really found that necessary because it's well designed with this little notch in the front and allows you to actually wrap the cables quite well. Each cable is 25 feet and uh, has a J1772 tip. And if you uh, coil them um, not neatly, we haven't found the need to use the optional cable holders, but I could see that they would be a good use on something like a commercial application. I thought I'd show you the real reason that a dual charger makes sense for us. And that is that our um, electrical panel is really quite full. And to, in order to put an entire second charger for our multiple EVs in our family, it would cost thousands to upgrade to a 400 amp service. So for us in our family, a unit like this where there's actually two chargers, where you can charge two EVs at the same time, or at least plug them in at night uh, at the same time uh, when you go to sleep, it makes a lot of sense because that way we don't have to spend the money to upgrade our entire electrical circuit. And I uh, found it to be a great solution for that um, or any kind of commercial solution where you have to have multiple cars plugged in at the same time. If you have any questions on how this particular charger works for our family of uh, two EVs and a plug-in hybrid, uh, leave us some questions below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. At the end here, I've included an unboxing video of the Clipper Creek unit and certainly would like to thank them for sending us the charger to test out.
Check out that NEMA 1450 plug. Pretty sweet. It does not have a very long cord. They said the maximum from the machine to the plug here could be uh, 12 inches, including the plug. You definitely have to mount it pretty close to the NEMA 1450 plug.